To get started with Lockdown as fast as possible, drag your clip to a new composition, set your in and out points, go to Effect, Vranos, Lockdown, press Pop Out, control click and drag over the area that you want to track. This will create a grid of points. Go to the method, make sure it's set to extremely accurate. Go to the options menu and enable the disk cache. Provided you have enough hard drive space on your computer, it will make things go much faster. Then press track all. Close lockdown. On the effects, press lockdown. There are three layers. The background layer, the layer which has your graphics, in which case by default it's a checkerboard, and then this hidden layer which is the stabilized layer. Go into here. We can delete this checkerboard. If we scrub through this, you'll see that this is stabilized video. If we want to add graphics, text for example, we can just align it to the stabilized video, and we can see how it looks in context here. Then when we tab back to the main composition and play, you can see that it's been tracked. This layer contains just the graphics inside of the stabilized comp, and this is where you would set your transfer modes to help blend the graphics. So this was the fast way, but this definitely wasn't the right way. So let's look at some best practices. When you put down a lot of points, it may be very accurate in some areas, but it's going to be extremely difficult to deal with whenever a track doesn't work out. So for example, I'm going to show a common mistake that I see, make sure that you probably don't do this. I'm going to create an extremely dense grid of points here and press track all. I've done that just by bringing the lasso grid pixel distance down to 20, so 20 pixels apart for each of the points, and bring the point radius down so you can see. Now actually, the tracker does a pretty good job, all things considered, but where things are going to go bad is when you need to start adjusting these points, so you have something that maybe didn't track perfectly here, uh, looking down on the arm, these points. Well now, if you're trying to fix these by dragging them back into place, you have a lot of points to deal with, and it's going to be very tedious and cumbersome, and you just don't want to go there. The best way, the best practice in lockdown is to use as few points as possible, starting with maybe just five or 10, and then adding points where you need them for definition. So for example, I'm going to add a point here on the eye, something on the shoulder, and just add a few points uh, on very noticeable spots where it'll be easy to track. So each of these points is pretty well defined. And then I'll press track all. Now notice that this tracks very fast because it's cached. Caching being enabled here. Every time you press track all within the tracking tab, things are going to move very quickly after the first time you've tracked. There's another video on the specifics of track adjustment, which you should watch. But just to give you an idea, the way that track adjustment works is, let's say that we want to track this eye perfectly. You would click and drag, put it here, dead center on the eye, and then it leaves an adjustment keyframe, and then you can move to later in the sequence and just make sure that's on there perfectly. And every time your track starts to go off, you adjust it. This is the backbone to lock down into making sure that your track is perfect. And then the next time you press track all, it's going to look at each of these adjustments, that's the points with the crosshairs matching on yellow, and make your track more accurate. Because this is often a necessary step, manually adjusting the tracks, having fewer points is the best way to go. The way I like to work is to create a small amount of points, and then triangulate the mesh, and then look at it in the Stabilize tab. So let's talk about what the Stabilize tab is. The Stabilize tab is going to take this mesh on this frame, which is the green one, that's where you've chosen which frame to project on, and it's going to hold your mesh still as you play it back. See here? So looking at these points, we had um, these points all around the border, right? These aren't going to show up because these are on the border. This one is free floating inside the mesh. This one is free floating inside the mesh. That's why you can see those points in here. And now as I play back, 
you can see that the video is stable around those points. It's almost like they're acting as pins, right? And the trick to this is now we can add points where it's unstable to make the track better. And we can use fewer points by deciding to track the areas that aren't stable. And so definitely need some tracking here and here. You can see that those areas are moving around a lot here, moving there. In there. So I've just added a couple of points. Now we can actually track inside of the stabilized tracking tab, but I'm going to leave that for the other tutorial on stabilized tracking. Coming back to the tracking tab, those points have been placed in the areas where we know we need them. We'll press track all. Okay, so again, you can see that those have tracked pretty well. Moving back in the stabilized tracking tab, you can see that those are following along as they should. And now to get them to reveal in the stabilized tracking tab showing as part of the mesh, you would just clear the mesh and attach them into the mesh here. So you can see that these are now attached. And now when we move into the stabilized tracking tab, you can see that this is stable here. This is stable as I play this back. This part's stable. And basically my strategy is going to be only adding points where I need them. So I have as few points as possible. Again, I need something here, something there. And this is gonna minimize the amounts of adjustments that I have to do. So again, I just added a few points only where I needed them. And I'm just going to come back here and press track. The stabilized tracking tab really does offer a lot of advantages. It's just, I wanna to get to that later. Clear the mesh, triangulate the mesh, and then let's return back. And you can see this is extremely stable and I only have a couple of points here. I'm not going to get into the specifics of tracking in this tutorial, but this is the concept I want you to have in mind as you work with lockdown. Track very few points in here, evaluate the mesh based on instability. So for example, here, add points where it's unstable, track them, put them in the mesh, and continue this process until you have a mesh that's looking really, really good and really stable with as few points as possible. The purpose again is that if we need to make adjustments here, so let's see uh, this point, for example, let's watch this move. It's staying pretty close to where it should on this feature, but maybe I'll just say we'll put it centered on that white dot and go over here and keep it centered on that white dot. The idea is when you have very few points, you have less of them to actually manage. So again, with this one, maybe I'll keep that on there and kind of slide that over to correct it from drifting. As opposed to a situation where you have thousands of points and it's going to be completely unmanageable. So please, as a best practice, use as few points as possible and only add them where you need them. Now, some of you may be thinking, sometimes you really do need a dense track with lockdown and adding one point at a time is just too slow and not getting you where you need to be. Well, I would say get it to this point first because now this is very easy to see and very easy for the tracker to follow too. And then if you have to, now you can do your dense tracking where you add a ton of points. We're in a very different situation here looking at this stabilized video. When I track here, the points are going to have a much easier time tracking because the video is being held still. Again, we'll get deeper into this in the stabilized tracking tutorial. But as a first step, I'd like to stress, just start with five or 10 points and make sure that the dense tracking comes absolutely last and your life is going to be much easier. Check out the other tutorials for more specifics on adjustments, stabilized tracking, interpolation, and everything else you need to know about lockdown.